Hey there, it's Dr. Tom with EBM Fitness Solutions and welcome into the next Follow Along Friday. We are halfway through December now and we are getting close to the end of the year. So let's keep this thing rolling. Let's take a look at today's workout. It's gonna be short and sweet, but it will take care of all the important parts. So we're gonna do some lunges, uh, 12 reps on each side, the kneeling bell up press. Uh, if you don't have kettlebells, we can do a kneeling overhead press with dumbbells. That'll be fine. I'll include a link for that in the bottom as well. Uh, push up position rows. These sometimes are known as renegade rows. Uh, again, if you can't do these with weight, do them without weight or just do the push up shoulder taps or just hold the position. I'll give you links for all those as well. And then the final thing is a rocking plank. So <clears throat> rocking planks are basically setting up to do a regular front plank. It's going to be kind of rock back and forth, moving into more of a longer lever position than back to the start position. Again, if this is something that doesn't work, just hold the regular posi uh, position, or if you need to, just hold a modified plank position. So that is our workout for today. Let's get to it. All right, so if you've been following along with these workouts, you know we're going to do a quick warm-up before we get into the exercise part of it. So let's start with some high knees. Again, just work on bringing the knees up towards chest. Abs are tight, overall kind of postural awareness. A little pinch in the shoulder blades does not have to be excessive, but we obviously don't want to be lazy, kind of slouching forward. So stand tall, just trying to move through a comfortable range of motion. We're not forcing anything. If things are tight, just go with what you got for motion until things kind of loosen up a little bit. All right, next, let's go into the butt kicks. <clears throat> Again, same thing, tall, abs are tight. Try to bring the heel towards the butt without letting the knee drift forward. Nice and easy. Whenever you warm up, it's all about smooth, comfortable range of motion. We're not forcing things. We're not fighting with our body. It's meant to be nice and easy. So now let's do some shoulders. We'll do some straight up. So uh, <clears throat> hands by your side, thumbs are forward. Let's go straight up and down. Just loosening up the shoulders again. Keep your abs tight. A lot of times when people do that, their arms don't go up quite as high because without the abs being tight, People get into their low back way too easy when they do this kind of a motion. <clears throat> One more of these. Good. Arms out front, thumbs together, and then just bring the arms out, rotate your thumbs back. Again, keep your abs tight so that this is a shoulder motion and not an arch in the back kind of a motion. Again, we're just looking to warm things up a little bit. This should not be exhausting. It should be quick and easy. <clears throat> okay. So let's get to it. We're gonna start with the lunges. Again, you don't need weight for these. I'm gonna grab some weights. We're gonna do 12 reps on each leg. I am going to alternate. You do not have to, as long as you get 12 on each side, that is the key. So here we go. Try to keep all the weight on your front leg as you do these. Almost there. This should be 10 on each leg. that. So, set those down. <clears throat> Kneeling, bell up, press. Again, if you just have dumbbells, that's fine. So, bell up, press is a little more challenging. So, I'm going to swing these into position, get my body set, brace, and then up we go. This forces you to be a little more deliberate. You try to get sloppy with these, they're going to go flying off somewhere. And there's 12. Good. Now, real quick with those bell up presses, if that weight starts to go somewhere, don't save it. Throw it. Let it go. Otherwise, you have a really good chance of hurting the shoulder. Don't try to save it. It goes somewhere funny. Ditch it and just don't even play around with it. All right, next, push-up position rows. So whether you're doing these with the weights or just with your kind of with the arm motion, hands under the shoulders, 
feet wider than your hips. That's very important. Uh, you'll need that kind of base of support. So push up position. We're going to alternate. Halfway there. Really make sure you brace your abs hard so that nothing moves. And focus your pull from the shoulder blade area. So now we're gonna go to the rocking plank. I, of course, forgot to set my timer. So we're gonna go into a regular plank position and we're gonna kind of rock back and forth. So I'm gonna start with my arms out front like this. And then we're going to go back and forth. When you rock back, it makes the plank harder, <clears throat> which is why it's important to sit up with your arms under your shoulders unless you intentionally plan to do this. So keep your abs tight. Shoulders are gonna get tired. My feet are sliding a little bit, so. But you don't wanna feel this in your low back. And there's our 60 seconds. Well, that sucked more than I thought it would. So now, start your rest, give it about a minute or so, and run through that one again. I'll see you guys next week.